Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do like a video geared just towards like hairline stuff and really popping that hairline and getting it nice and bright, especially when you have these really light natural blondes and they just want a really icy pop in the front. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Also, heads up, I have dogs playing right next to me, so if you hear any growls or anything like that, it's because they're playing. So, um, let's get started. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is take a mixture of really, really, really fine slices and then weaves all around the hairline and pack them in because we want it nice and bright and blonde. Now this client only comes in like twice a year, um, maybe three times if I'm lucky. So she wants it to be able to grow out super, super well and super, super blended so that she can wait that long. So what I'm going to show you is when I do the highlights, I'm going to turn my brush to the side like this and feather it up into that hairline and that um, root because I don't want a harsh line. I don't want it to grow out really thick. I don't want it to grow out straight. I want it to grow out super blended and pretty. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, and then for each section, that's what I'm going to be doing is blending it up like that, turning my brush horizontal, JK, vertical, and really getting it up in the hairline just like that so it's really blended and edgy. You want it kind of edged so that it's not a straight solid line as it grows out and so you can't see it. And it just looks like she's just been in Florida sunbathing all day and she, her hairline just popped up. So yeah, um, you can just watch what I'm doing. I'm going around the hairline doing like three to four foils deep all the way around and then I will come back on and explain what we're going to do for toning.
Okay, so moving on to the front. So I did that same like pattern thing and just went all the way around the hairline front, both sides. Really get every single hair, every single little section and corner. And then this is kind of how I blend that um, bright hairline into the rest of her hair. So I'm just gonna take a slice and I'm gonna make it pretty fine with like not that much hair in between each section. So as you can see, that's like barely any hair. Um, that's falling out in between. So I'm gonna take this slice and instead of starting my um, lightener up at the top, I'm gonna start it down a ways and then feather up into that um, hairline. Just so I can blend it, I want to, I do like two of these sections where it's just like feathered up into that section. So it's still bright and like looks like a hairline piece, but it is going to be blended into those highlights that we will do in a minute. Um, so yeah, I do like two of those like back to back where it's, I start at like a two inches down and then feather up. And what I'm doing in the rest of her hair is I'm just gonna do some scattered foliage pieces. I didn't film too much of that because this video is really dedicated to the hairline. Um, but I have a ton of foliage, like my technique for foliage videos. So I'll link a couple below if you're interested in watching those. But yeah, I just did it scattered because she doesn't want too heavy of a highlight or foliage. She just wants just a couple pieces to blend all the blonde at her ends up into her natural and she has really light natural hair anyway and it's a really pretty tone and she likes to keep it super rooty and so we're just popping around her hairline and then just adding a couple blending foliage pieces. Also, I added a couple like open air hair painting over this light blonde. I just wanted to pop it out. I used like a 10 volume. Just wanted to pop out some brassy pieces and get it opened for toning so that it'll tone evenly with everything else. So yeah. So as you can see, this is the end result of putting all the foils and hair painting in and this is kind of what it looks like. It kind of looks like a crazy mess, but there is order to it. It's just kind of all over the place because we did a bunch of different techniques. Um, so we let her process for about 10 to 15 minutes until everything was lifted and here I am taking some Graham content. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, and I will link everything below, but also it's just Hair by Lexi Dawn, um, and yeah, I post a bunch of stuff on there all the time, so you should go check it out. But anyway, I decided that I wanted to pull all of the foils first and run that extra lightener over the ends because I didn't put the ends um, in a foil because they were already previously lightened, but since I painted the fallouts, I wanted the one like the ends of the pieces in the foil to have a little pop at the end too. So that's why I'm that's why we are taking out the foils and then running that extra lightener through those ends just to pop it open right before we tone. So that's what we're doing here and yeah, I just did this on every single foil.
Okay, here we are toning. I have already, I put on her root all around first, which is 8N, just 8N. And then I put her ends and mid and ends toner on first, which is just 9V. And I left out the hairline. That's what I do when I want the hairline to pop because I don't want the toner to sit on the hairline as long as I want it to sit on the rest of the hair. So I leave that out, tone the roots, tone the ends of the hair first, and then I go back through the face framing pieces, put the root toner on, same as the one that's on the rest of the head, and the ends toner on, which is the same as the one that's on the rest of the head too. So 8N, Shades EQ at the root, 9V, Shades EQ, um, on the mids and ends and I let that process for the last like three minutes of the toning Because I want it to be the brightest piece But I still want it to be melted and blended in the same tone as the rest of the hair So now I'm just blow drying you can see that how bright and beautiful it is and it, Her hair is like the best hair ever. It's long and beautiful It has a perfect face framing and layering and it's just amazing. So this is the end result guys Thank you so much for watching and um, supporting me. I love hearing comments from you, reading comments from you, seeing you guys say you follow me on Instagram and YouTube, and I just love it. Guys, again, thanks so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!